so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my rose lip oil. So the main ingredients for this rose lip oil is of course organic rose petals. And I got these rose petals off of Amazon. They were affordable and they are very beneficial to your lips. This part is pretty easy. All you're going to do is hand stuff the organic rose petals into each of your bottles. I did forget to mention that these are dried rose petals. So they aren't just any regular rose petals. They are very beneficial to your skin, just period. It helps replenish your skin and makes your skin a lot brighter. So this is how it should look and I'm just going to speed it up while I do the rest. Now that I am done stuffing my bottles, I am going to start with making my oil. The only thing you'll need is a bowl and something to stir with. And I do not like using just regular oils for my lip oil, so I do use a little bit of lip gloss to make it a little bit thicker. Not too much, just a little bit. The first oil and the main oil I'm going to add is the grapeseed oil. Now I'm going to add organic coconut oil, vitamin E oil, and this is the main oil you want to use, rose hip oil. I am going to add about 10 drops of this oil. Now it's time to stir. I'm going to stir until there are no more hunks and clumps and I'm going to stir until it's the consistency that I want it to be. Now that I have it the consistency I want it to be, I am just going to simply pour it into my bottles. I did run out of oil so I made a little bit more for my last bottle and I'm just going to put the excess into this jar. Even though I have a lot of these clean already, I don't like to make too many so I am just going to now start to clean and I, of course I cleaned with a baby wipe that is the most sanitary thing I could do. I hate the Lysol wipes that people, some people use because you don't want Lysol around your lips. So that is the purpose of the baby wipes. The baby wipes are very safe to use and they are clean. You want to make sure that you have the bottle closed tightly so that no oil seeps out. And I am just going to add the rollers and the tops on each bottle. And after that, you're done. You do have to sanitize your bottles. I'll show you guys how I sanitize my bottle in a different video, but yeah. Give it a little shake and you're ready to sell, baby. 
that is all for this video if you like this video please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave comments down below on what you think about this video and i'll see you guys later bye